whether you are a mother or not, you got to be glad for the opportunity to celebrate Mother's Day. It's a big deal in the United States, and I believe many other countries too. Uh, and that's good news for not just for mothers, but for everyone. You think about it, we owe an awful lot to our mothers. Of course, we've all heard that before. But fundamentally, we were born because they cared enough to go through what it took to bring us into the world. And then, for the most part, to bring us up in that world. Those of us, who, uh, those mothers who were not able to do the second part, but pass the baby on to another mother, uh, did likely their best under their circumstances. I know that can be hurtful for those who may have endured that. But in looking back, uh, hopefully this is a time for not only appreciation for those accomplishments that our mothers made on our behalf, but also forgiveness for any shortcomings that might have been part of that. It's kind of trendy nowadays for us to look at the failures and shortcomings and disappointments of our own lives uh, and blame them on someone else. Often it's our mothers. Well, you know, I didn't have a very good childhood, we might say. Uh, our mothers just didn't try hard enough. They weren't there when we needed them. For those of you for whom that is true, you have my sincerest uh, uh, sympathy. And I'm not trying to uh, downplay the hurt that might have been involved in your lives. I hope, though, that as adults, you were able to step past it. And if you haven't, you can look to yourselves anew with the, uh, the dedication of getting past those shortcomings or using them as excuses uh, for the disappointments in your lives. Yes, our parents are fundamental in our upbringing. Some did a better job than others. Uh, but once we reach adulthood, it really is up to us to fix what's broken by taking responsibility, getting the help we need, and then hopefully as people of faith, and I hope all of you are, uh, that's another talk for another time if you're still working on that. But as people of faith, we're able to forgive the shortcomings that might have caused us hurt or setbacks uh, or other disadvantages along the way. On Mother's Day, it's best for us to focus on the positive things that happened. Even if it was no more than bringing us into the world, that is a pretty big deal. Nothing else happens without that. And in modern Western society, that has become an option. Indeed, it's a political debate, uh, sadly, that we diminish motherhood by insisting that getting out of it is somehow an important choice for people to have. I don't want to get into that in any more depth right now, but the point is that most women who become uh, mothers are glad at some level that they did so. It becomes one of the fundamental achievements of their lives. And those of us on the receiving end of that generosity should have nothing but gratitude for the women who gave us life uh, and then saw to it that either they or someone else uh, took it from there. Happy Mother's Day. That's something that I hope is on everyone's lips as they think about their mothers still with us or those uh, of us whose mothers have passed on. And look to our wives who are mothers, uh, those who are mothers, and enjoy not only the children that we have brought into the world together, but also the profound sacrifice they made on behalf of those kids in bringing them uh, not only into the world, but up within it. Those of us who have daughters can look to them at their mothers uh, with a similar pride and a sense of gratitude. After all, if we have grandchildren, those kids have mothers, and those mothers are very close to us too. All of these women have done a great deal and continue to do so in their lives. Are they perfect? Of course not. Nobody is. But they've done enough to merit our esteem, our high regard, and our thanks. Happy Mother's Day.